Alright, so the world's lightest mouse comes in at around 23 grams, while my custom-made, ultra-thin, 3D-printed, nature-inspired, revolutionary computer mouse comes in at a drumroll, please. Whoa, 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 wait. Let's slow down a bit. Let me show you how I did it. First, scour the World Wide Web for hours searching for the perfect target, and when you find these two words, 3D printer. In a description with no picture of a garage sale post on Craigslist at a random location in space, drive 20 minutes on a Hail Mary that no one bought it before you, or that isn't just a regular printer some grandma found, and bam, that, my children, is how I got a 3D printer for $20. Oh, and also now spend more money on filament than the printer ever cost. Hey! Hey! Over here! See, we need an intro! Oh, hi, my name is Marcel. You see, if you go down, it says my name right there, you know, my channel. And for a while you're down there, you could also like hit the big red button, it says subscribe. Dang, it, it would help me out. It wakes my narrator up. And I am tickled that you would spend some time with me today. So I hope you're having a good day and wait, what was this video about again? Oh, right, the world's lightest mouse. We're, we're gonna make that. You know, and I will actually, I'm going to see you over at my workshop. Welcome inside for some background. I have no idea why I came up with this idea. I, I have no interest in light mouse. I mean, my RGB goodness comes in at like the heavyweight class of 90 grams. But for some reason, I just thought of a light mouse and I wanted to make one. Because you see, the world's lightest mouse, it's only for your fingers. Like, it, there's no palm rest or anything, it's super short. And it costs like 240 euros, which is quite a lot. And then I thought of all the other mice, like the final mouse or whatever they're called, where they just have a bunch of holes in the shell. But I was like, what if we just don't have a shell? So my idea was to just take all the parts that your fingers actually touch and just get rid of the rest. So first of all, I need a mouse. So, mouse. Well, I need the guts for one. But this one's too heavy and actually decent. So here, I got a finger mouse. Uh, I, I don't know who came up with this or why I have it, but uh, it, it's light, I guess. Ooh, let's see what's inside this geode. Soldering, lots of soldering. I need to move the sensor, but yeah, each one of these little pads needs a teeny little extension cable, and there's 10 of them. Now, I just had to test this bomb looking contraption and that was a bit of an exaggeration. It actually works first try. Dang, maybe this year actually is better. Now, the plus side of all this work is, uh, well, I saved a few grams, I guess. And then I saved a couple more grams. I originally thought I would make it out of balsa wood. But I don't know what world that could have possibly worked well on. So now the rambling story I had at the beginning comes into play as I turn to the printer. Its eyes of despair had turned upon me, and it said, Could you hurry up with this bit? The audience is getting bored. It's been like 20 seconds. And I said, Ah, yeah, you're right, as I dove into my bed and started mentally catting. After two hours, I downloaded my mental design, and the printer was put to work. Now, I struggled to get the mouse frame off as the printer grasped it tight, but eventually I got it off. I put the sensor in its place, hot glued the mainboard, and added some dinky buttons just to top it off. No, actually, I'm gonna start this year on a good note. I'm gonna fully finish this project and add some real buttons. No unfinished garbage from now on. Unless I don't want to, you know.
Alright, well, thanks for sticking to the end. This is my conclusion. So, well, I mean, <laughs> I think it came out surprisingly decent. It looks pretty cool, and it does weigh 17 grams, or 18, I don't even remember. But I just, I don't really see the point. I can't, I'm not gonna just go out and be like, oh, this is so much better because it's lighter. Like, honestly, I, I have no way to test it. Now, I'm not gonna like go in and say like, oh yeah, time to test this mouse out versus my other mouse in competitive gaming because I'm not a very good judge of that. So, for now, you'll just have to stick to these, to these videos of that mouse. And if you made it this far, please do like and subscribe. It really helps me out. And I mean, made it this far, let's start the year off on a good note and have a video that pops off. All right. I'll see you guys in the next video, whenever that is. Bye.